giant storms, powerful winds, auroras, and extreme temperature and pressure conditions, Jupiter has a lot going on. Now, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has captured some terrifying new images of the planet. So what has the most powerful telescope in human history found on Jupiter? Has it finally spotted aliens on this massive planet? Should you be concerned about this discovery? Make sure you watch this video to the end as we bring you NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's new images of Jupiter that changes everything. NASA and the European Space Agency's $10 billion successor to the Hubble Space Telescope rocketed away at the end of last year and has been observing the cosmos in the infrared since summer. Scientists hope to behold the dawn of the universe with Webb, peering all the way back to when the first stars and galaxies were forming 13.7 billion years ago. The observatory is positioned 1 million miles from Earth. NASA has kept busy releasing photos from the JWST, taking those with an interest in space on a virtual trip to the edges of the cosmos. While the first batch of images released included a look at the furthest reaches of the known universe, the outfit recently unveiled a snapshot of something much, much closer. In a recent revelation, NASA's JWST has captured new images of the closest Jovian planet. Webb's Jupiter observations will give scientists even more clues to Jupiter's inner life. The two images come from the observatory's near-infrared camera, which has three specialized infrared filters that showcase details of the planet. Since infrared light is invisible to the human eye, the light has been mapped onto the visible spectrum. Generally, the longest wavelengths appear redder and the shortest wavelengths are shown as more blue. Scientists collaborated with citizen scientist Judy Schmidt to translate the web data into images. In the standalone view of Jupiter, created from a composite of several images from Webb, auroras extend to high altitudes above both the northern and southern poles of Jupiter. The auroras shine in a filter that is mapped to redder colors, which also highlights light reflecting from lower clouds and upper hazes. A different filter mapped to yellows and greens shows hazes swirling around the northern and southern poles. A third filter, mapped to blues, showcases light that is reflected from a deeper main cloud. The Great Red Spot, a famous storm so big it could swallow Earth, appears white in these views, as do other clouds because they are reflecting a lot of sunlight. The brightness here indicates high altitude, so the Great Red Spot has high altitude hazes, as does the equatorial region. The numerous bright white spots and streaks are likely very high altitude cloud tops of condensed convective storms. By contrast, dark ribbons north of the equatorial region have little cloud cover. Here you can see the Webb's NERCAM composite image from two filters, F212N in orange and F335M in cyan of Jupiter system. In a wide field view, Webb sees Jupiter with its faint rings, which are a million times fainter than the planet, and two tiny moons called Almathea and Adrastia. The fuzzy spots in the lower background are likely galaxies photobombing this Jovian view. This one image sums up the science of our Jupiter system program, which studies the dynamics and chemistry of Jupiter itself, its rings, and its satellite system. Researchers have already begun analyzing web data to get new science results about our solar system's largest planet. Data from telescopes like Webb doesn't arrive on Earth neatly packaged. Instead, it contains information about the brightness of the light on Webb's detectors. This information arrives at the Space Telescope Science Institute, Webb's Mission and Science Operations Center as raw data. STSI processes the data into calibrated files for scientific analysis and delivers it to the Mikulski Archive for Space Telescopes for dissemination. Scientists then translate that information into images like these during the course of their research. While a team at STSI formally processes web images for official release, non-professional astronomers known as citizen scientists often dive into the public data archive to retrieve and process images too. A new JWST view of Jupiter shows the planet's faint silver rings, glowing aurora and shimmery storms. Two moons are visible to the planet's left, Amalthea, the bright glowing dot, and Adrastia, a bright spot that appears to be at the apex of the planet's rings. Jupiter glows with polar lights and shimmering clouds in new imagery from the JWST. NASA released the sharp new pictures on 22 August. The images are composites from several different wavelengths of light. In some of the new images, two of the planet's moons, Amalthea and Adrastia, sparkle in the gas giant's orbit, and Jupiter's faint rings glow like a halo. At the planet's north and south poles, the northern and southern lights glow with a pale fire. It's really remarkable that we can see details on Jupiter together with its rings, tiny satellites, and even galaxies in one image. The images come courtesy of NASA's newest space-based telescope, which has already wowed the world with psychedelic images of far-flung galaxies. The JWST is operated primarily by NASA, in partnership with the European Space Agency and Canadian Space Agency. 
The photos of Jupiter, part of an observation effort led by De Pater and Thierry Fouché, a professor at the Paris Observatory, showcase what the Space Telescope can do closer to home. The near-infrared camera on the telescope captures the images, which were then converted to color visible to the human eye. The longest wavelengths are visible in red, while shorter wavelengths are blue. The planet's great red spot, a centuries-old storm so big it could engulf Earth, appears white due to reflected sunlight, as do other high-altitude clouds. Dark lines indicate little cloud cover. Just as on Earth, particles from the Sun interact with Jupiter's upper atmosphere to create light shows called auroras. These auroras are visible at both the northern and southern poles of Jupiter in the new images. The incredible views were lined up by Judy Schmidt, a citizen scientist with no formal training in astronomy who has been processing astronomy images as a hobby for more than a decade. Because the data that comes in from telescopes, like the JWST, come in the form of numbers, not pictures, image processors must translate the data to make sense to the human eye. For instance, Schmidt had to stack imagery from JWST to account for Jupiter's rapid rotation because the enormous planet does a complete rotation once every 10 hours. The result sums up the gas giant at a glance. Another revelation which the images gave is that Jupiter has been confirmed to have almost 80 moons. But why does the planet have such an unusually high number of moons? In comparison, the Earth only has one. Saturn has 82 confirmed moons, but the race between the two planets is still on as scientists keep discovering more moons. What is more, when astronomers from the University of British Columbia studied only a tiny portion of the sky, they discovered about 45 candidate moons with a diameter of more than 800 meters. By extrapolating, they concluded that Jupiter might have more than 600 moons. The reason Jupiter is such a moon magnet has a lot to do with its stupendous mass. Earth's one and only moon formed likely billions of years ago after a vast protoplanet hit the Earth. But most moons, especially around gas giants, don't have such an exciting history. Jupiter and other gargantuan planets usually capture rocky objects, including minor asteroids to full-fledged mini-planets with volcanic activity like Io. Apart from its mass, Jupiter's location plays a part too. Because it's so far away from the Sun, Jupiter can exert a larger area of influence or control. The Sun might be mighty, but its gravitational force lessens the farther away you move from it. This is why Venus and Mercury, the two closest planets to the Sun in the solar system, have no moons at all. Earth boasts of only one and Mars has two tiny satellites. Also important, although to a lesser degree, is the gas giant shape. A celestial body that is regularly round will have a more stable orbit than a potato-shaped one. Jupiter is almost perfectly round, which may have helped to capture some additional small satellites, especially in its lower orbit. The next discovery involves an incredible similarity between the Earth and Jupiter. Look at the images below. Do you see the eerie similarities between the two? One image was taken on the Earth while the other was taken on Jupiter, yet they look frighteningly alike. So what is going on here? On the left is a phytoplankton bloom in Earth's Norwegian Sea, while on the right you are looking at turbulent clouds in Jupiter's atmosphere. Here is NASA's explanation. The simplified model of Jupiter's poles show that geometric patterns of vortices, like those observed on Jupiter, spontaneously emerge and survive forever. This means that the basic geometrical configuration on the planet allows these intriguing structures to form. So, what do you think about these groundbreaking discoveries? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and share this video with your family and friends. And for more in-wonder content like this, we'll see you in the next video.